Hey guys, welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. Today we have a super exciting video for you. You saw the title, we're having tea and crumpets. So we've wanted to try these for a very long time, but we had some difficulty in locating them. We finally found some crumpets and we're gonna give them a shot. Right. So, what we have here are just butter, lashings and lashings of butter, mm -hmm. and then there's some butter and melted cheese, and here is some with grape uh, jelly or grape preserve, and mm. this one is butter and Marmite. Mmm. I say savory to sweet, just like we do. We're also drinking tea uh -huh. we have english breakfast tea cheers 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 nice nice that's the perfect temperature for me oh, good which means it's probably not for you <laughs> uh all right so what do you want to try first just butter i think right yeah let's try the just butter okay so i'm gonna cut it in two uh, have you ever had a crumpet before? I have had a crumpet before. I... These crumpets before from our local grocery store, Hy-Vee, if you live where we do, um, or near us, Hy-Vee is in the Midwest. Um, only a time or two, but I really, really, really liked them, but you can't count on them always being there. In fact, because, yeah. I mean, we've looked a million times. Yeah. Because I told you I knew that they had carried them. I have never had a crumpet before, so this is my first time. Cheers. And I gotta tell you, when I was toasting these up, they smell delicious. Mm -hmm. Can we go? Yeah. I get it. I get it. Okay, now. I love that. It's like crunchy on the bottom and like mm -hmm. pillowy and soft on top, but yeast, so yeasty. All right. So if you've never had a crumpet before, uh, they are, how would you describe them? They're softer like an than. an English muffin, but. They're similar shape. They're right. similar size. I think you would use them the same way, but the texture is completely different. There's no opening them, slicing them. Yeah. You, you know, the texture is definitely, um, I don't know. It's different. The, these are softer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go cheese. Cheese for sure. So we did what we thought people would do for crumpets, just from getting to know you guys a little bit and what we thought sounded good on one. But I really want you to come to the comments and let us know how you eat yours. I can really see it with breakfast. Oh, sure. Like an egg on top. I can really see it that way. Yeah. That, I mean, look how thick they are. I know. Interesting. And there are little pockets Lots, uh, similar yeah. to like an English muffin, but they're they're not big, huge, like bubbles that burst. They're little teeny tiny little yeah. pockets throughout. Ready, go. Mm. I love it with cheese. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, we have uh, cheddar on here, and it's good. Mm hmm. It's good. Great to bake. bake. I also like, think. What? Great to make like a breakfast sandwich or something with it, you know? Mm hmm I can also see it with like cream cheese. Like how uh -huh. we would eat a bagel or right. whatever. Right. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. That's good. Mm-hmm. All right. Now the barmite. Mm-hmm. If you're new here, hello. Welcome to our channel. We have tried marmite before. Fortunately for us, we waited to try marmite until... We had several friends from the UK who told us how to try Marmite yes. the correct way. So we know tons of butter. Spread that Marmite out. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
Mm. <laughs> mm hmm. Wow. I love it like that. Me too. I think this is the best way that I've liked Marmite since we tried it. Oh, that's good. That was really good. Mm hmm. Wow. Let's go together really like peas like and carrots. That's right. Now jelly. Sorry, it's grape. That's what we had. Yep. We're not big jelly eaters in our world. No. Cheers. Because you know what? You want to know why? Whenever I eat jelly, I just miss the peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad for me. Oh, jelly. Ready? Go. Mmm, I love that too. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I think what I didn't do on that one was put butter down first, and I think next time that's what I would do. And so it soaks all in there, and then you get the mm -hmm. the jam or the jelly on it. That's so good. Okay, so good. now whenever we do one of these videos, it just makes me think of a million other questions. What do you like on your crumpets? the best how do you prepare them we toasted ours the cheese one uh we melted the cheese in the oven for a little bit but how do you prepare yours what else do you put on them is it part of a meal like i saw a couple pictures online and we didn't want to do a lot of research because we wanted to ask you um but i did i have seen a couple of pictures online where people do like turkey and cranberry oh, and that yeah. kind of thing like and kind of make a stack on top of a crumpet and I thought how interesting and fun for future especially since we know we can get them but I would love to hear all the things and how you like them if you prefer them savory or sweet if you like them loaded with stuff or just a whisper of things whatever and I assume of course you have tea with yours right yes yeah, I, I assume so yeah it's they good. go so well together. Yeah. Okay. Tell me your ranking. Okay. I, your order. I of preference. Well. Oh boy, that's gonna be difficult. For now, there's two that I really think were the standout for me. I really like just the loaded up with butter, and then two I love the marmite one. So those two kind of top it off for me. They're kind of tied. I don't know. I like the marmite. I think. I think Marmite's number one for me. I think my favorite is the cheese. Okay. And second was Marmite. Yeah. Marmite for me. And then I liked the preserves. And part of that is probably just I never eat jelly anymore because it was, it was always peanut butter and jelly, like I said. Or sometimes jelly toast. I can see this being a good substitute for regular toast for sure. me. Um, and butter last. I mean, I oh, liked well. it that way. But... I just liked it with the junk on it better. <laughs> yeah, for me it's like Marmite, butter, cheese, and then the preserve. And if you do use some sort of preserves, I'm curious what kind. I would imagine like black currant. Black currant, <laughs> which oh, I was so sad, you guys. I was so sad. We saw some at a store, at a an import store, and it was out of date. Yeah. And I really wanted to get it, and it really tugged at my heartstrings, like. How bad can it be? It's preserved. <laughs> but then I remembered we're getting ready to go on vacation. And when we're on vacation, we will be hitting um, a huge international oh, store. Oh, yes. And on my list to get is that black currant yeah. jelly. For sure. Let us know what other things you want to see us try in the comments. And we'll look for them while we're there. This was fun. It was fun. Tea and crumpets. This yeah. is so, so, so fun for us. If you're not following us on Instagram or Facebook, come find us. Our Instagram feeds to Facebook, so that's a good place to find us. Yeah. Um, speaking of vacation, we will put a link to our new channel where you're going to see most of the travel stuff there. And then we have a game channel. If you're into that kind of thing, links to all the channels down in the comments. Don't forget to come tell us how you enjoy your crumpets and what you want to see us find to try it can be any country, I imagine. Yeah. This place we're going has aisles and aisles and aisles. It has a monorail system. Yeah. Like from Disney. It's huge. 
So um, if you've been hoping and praying that we're going to try foods from a particular country, don't forget to let us know so that we can be looking for things. We definitely want to try more things from Australia. Yeah. And we'll definitely spend some time uh, looking for things from Canada and definitely the UK. But we want to try a couple new countries too. Yeah, so. absolutely. So let us know down in the comments. This was fun for us as always. I think that's all we have for today. Unless you have something yeah. else. No, nothing. All right. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.